I know a lot of people send in um, things that represented and that the people um, that died on the plane had. And we saw a lot of names, a lot of things that they found, and um, some of the things that they said. And we could see like about the people, so I was looking up some of the names and what was about the people that died on um, uh, like the touch screen app thing. So do you remember anyone in particular that you that you looked up? Um, I remember Georgianne. She, um, the picture had her wearing a red dress with a red flower um, like band around her head and she spended time with her family and then there was um, um, Mark Dade of Ra, um, and his last name started with an R. I can't particularly remember how to pronounce it. Um, and then there was another Mark. I remember that because um, uh, the name was familiar for my dad, so. Oh, had the same name as your dad. <laughs> yeah, Mark. <laughs> okay. Mark Bingham? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I remember seeing the wall and the ranger that talked to us there. He, like, said that there were a few names that, like, were pointed out. Like, some said flight attendant, others under them. And, like, uh, some said different stuff on them. Um, also, I do remember, like, in the uh, exhibit, there were things that the FBI found from, like, some of the hijackers that gave them clues on who they were. I really didn't expect there to be still things like that they found on the plane to sit like because of how because it was going at like 500 was it 40 miles an hour with a full tank of gas it, I, I'm surprised like anything survived the explosion I was kind of surprised to see like um well it wasn't that surprising but how long the wall of everybody that uh was on the plane how long that was I also was kind of surprised to see to have such a like close look to the border. I was kind of surprised to see like how much they did find because like kind of how Camden said it was going really fast and you th thought like a lot of it would be gone and like burnt and, but there was a lot of like parts of the engine of the plane and lots of parts of the plane and lots of things from the plane like um, there was 14 knives found I remember that part a lot and also there's like um part of a wing i think from the plane and well stuff i like mean that. it's like when it hit that fast the only way it could have survived is that it hit and then it broke off the plane before the explosion so what about did you have ranger gregory yeah yeah did ranger gregory say anything that really made you think a lot about that day yes um, like, he just told us that story about whenever he, we, about, like, whenever we made it down to about the border, um, when it, they were, like, like, how he told us the story about what happened on the plane. Like, that made me really think hard about how, like, what was actually happening. Um, something that made me think was, like, how many eyewitnesses there were, and, like, how... He said some of them said that the plane was like so low to the ground that they could see like people in the plane looking down at them. And the one witness was where the big wall around the visitor center is. He was there and he said it was like at the height of that wall and he could see his reflection in the plane. Kind of what Corey said, uh, like how many eyewitnesses I was and um, like, what all the people, like, their emotions were, like, that made me really think, because I don't, like, I can't even think, like, experiencing that, think, like, their emotions, I can't even, like, believe in thinking how that was, that probably felt terrible, but it's amazing how they fought, how brave they were. My parents talked to me a little bit about, it, like, where they were, and what they were doing at the time. Like my mom, she was in college at that time and she um, told me like, they pulled the teacher out of the class 
out of like the classroom for a minute and she came back in and everybody could tell she was surprised and she went, I'm not sure what's happening right now, but um, you all need to come with me. And they took him down to like the basement lounge area and gathered all the people from Shanksville because my mom lived in Shanksville. And um, they took him and they said, you need to go home right now. You need to find a way home. And my mom like thought to herself like, I live on that road. How am I able to get home? And it was a lot at the time. So. Okay. Yeah, cause I, it was just super cool getting to visit, visit a, a memorial and it like seeing the, the things in, like those 10 little things in the museum that each had their own thing, like all the names of the people that died that day. One had pictures of one. The one had like the voicemails people left. Then there was the um, Tower of Voices I thought was super cool. We did get to hear it. Oh, and, yeah, it was windy that day. Yeah. We were there. Yeah, and then also that um, the wall of all the people that died on Flight 93. It was just sad, but also cool at the same time. So, sad to see them. We lost 2,000 lives that, like 2,900 some lives that day. But it's cool to learn about it and learn what happened on that like really scary day in American history. I also thought it was cool that we were able to see the flight path of the plane, like where it where it like landed. And I also thought it was pretty cool that I mean it wasn't cool that they crashed, but I thought it was pretty cool that it happened so close to us because before I heard about like it crashing in Shanksville, I always just thought of the Twin Towers falling. Right, because that's what you see yeah. on television. Yeah. Like that's what that's was what was the biggest le le leading to what lives lost. But that it's I think the craziest one was the one that crashed because they they like most people just think of it as a plane crash, but they did something to try to save our country. That's right, they did do something like, to save our country. To not let the, them try to go into the White House, like wreck into the White House, and more lives would be lost then. It was. It's. I think it's just amazing what they did and how brave they were and how courageous it was. I mean, I'm, it's horrible that it happened, but what they did was amazing. And um, there's this one girl on the plane that. It really broke my heart because um, her name was Lorraine, I think, and she had an unborn child. And so there was two, her and her husband were expecting her first child. And so two lives were really lost for one. And 44 lives were lost on that, just that plane, including the terrorists. And that's just heartbreaking. I, I can't imagine. Well, and about the one person who was like that Japanese one, I can't remember his name exactly, but he was a Steeler fan and I think it was just really sad how the, the Steelers, how they cared so much about that and they let all the families on the field at halftime gave the jerseys. I think like he loved the Steelers so much and I think that would have been something that he would have loved too.